The other day, I asked my 142,000 LinkedIn followers what data product I should build next for my business, and they voted for a Pokemon card analytics tool. Well, that was absolutely perfect because I'm literally obsessed with Pokemon cards. I am quite the collector, and so I got to work. I researched the competition, and I even reached out about acquiring an existing tool that I thought that I could improve instead of building from scratch. Well, they wanted $500,000 for that platform and their current revenue was a lot lower than I expected. So I said, no, thank you. I opened up Replit and I built my own Pokemon analytics platform using vibe coding in like two hours. Today, I'll show you exactly how to build your own step-by-step, -step, even with zero technical background. Now, obviously I'm doing Pokemon cards, but you could do Yu-Gi-Oh cards or baseball cards, or heck, you could do any sort of products with any sort of data set that you think someone might like to get insights from. So go ahead. It doesn't really matter what you choose. And by the way, this video is sponsored by Replit, but honestly, I was already a paying customer because this platform is insane, you guys. And I think everyone should try it out. Link below gets you 10 bonus credits and like I said, try it out. All right, here's the crazy part about Replit. After creating an account, you can literally just describe what you want your app to do and it will create it for you. So here we go, I'm gonna try that. Create the ultimate modern Pokemon card analytics platform that tracks market trends and pricing, specifically create a page for each card that shows the card, the pricing and historical pricing with a line chart for both raw and graded. Also create a section that shows me what cards have increased or decreased dramatically recently, which is like in the last few weeks. Then create a feature that finds good deals or bad deals. Look, I'll say look for pricing anomalies to find these undervalued or overrated cards. And then the last thing I will do, lastly, add a buy on eBay link for each card page that will be an affiliate that will make me passive. And literally, if I hit start chat, it will create that. Now, before we hit start chat, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna press this button right here, which will actually go through my prompt and improve it for me. It'll just make things a little bit better, a little bit more cleanly written. Here we go. A comprehensive web-based Pokemon card analytics platform that tracks market trends and pricing data for collectors and investors. The platform provided detailed card pages with historical pricing charts, identifies recent market movers, detects pricing anomalies for investment opportunities, and includes eBay affiliate integration for monetization. Here are the core features. Here are the visual references. So it says inspired by coin market cap trading view. You know what? I really like Robinhood's interface, the trading app, if you guys have ever seen that. Known for their comprehensive financial data presentation and intuitive charts and the style guide it gives some good colors right here and gives us some brand design let's go ahead and hit start now replit is currently thinking and creating an implementation plan to do all of this it's telling me what it's thinking about and what it's doing in this chat right here okay it just generated its initial version and it's giving me a visual preview here here's the plan so it's going to have individual Pokemon card pages, just like we said, market trends dashboard, a deal finder algorithm, eBay affiliate link, search and filtering functionality, response design both for desktop and mobile, and interactive price charts and data visualizations. Now it's designing the visual preview over here on the right hand side. And while it's doing that, it's telling me what it's going to be doing later. So it's basically like we're going to actually have the real API integration later. We're going to be doing some actual ML stuff later. We'll have user portfolios and watch lists later and real-time pricing alerts and notifications later. So this is what it's working on now, the initial version, like the MVP, and then down the road, it will inject this into it. We can actually watch it build its design and you can actually see that it is building all of these features as we talk, only using AI. I obviously haven't put any code in and it's pretty fun to watch it build itself. You can see it's adding these different uh, Pokemon types down here at the bottom as the card database. Now keep in mind that this is just an MVP. This actually isn't hooked up to data quite yet. So some of this data might not be exactly reflecting reality, but it does the best that it can at the beginning. I feel like the overall design looks good. It looks like we have some font color issues 
issues right here, but I like the design and I like the plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and say approve plan and start and Replit is going to get to work. If you've never heard of Replit before, it's a platform that lets you build production ready apps that are secure and safe without needing to be a programmer or a developer. It has insane AI intelligence that is able to work through complex and even difficult tasks, which you're seeing it do right here on the left hand side. So on the left, you see Replit's agent actually doing the coding for me. It gives me like an English version that I can understand even as like a non-technical person about what's going on. So it's creating these different files right here. And if you click on it, you'll be able to see the code that it's actually writing here. That is all being reflected on the right hand side. This is basically a visual preview of our app. So right now the agent is currently creating a fully interactive version down here on the bottom left, but ultimately our app will look like this. I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. And by the time I'm back, I bet you Replit will be done. All right. I got some water. I don't drink coffee. I don't know why I said coffee, but you can see I came back five minutes later and sure enough, 54 actions done, 2009 lines, 3,100 code changes, uh, and about a dollar. And I have a comprehensive Pokemon card analytics platform. It is that easy. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what it built. So it has some like KPIs here at the top. Then it has some of the market trends like it looks like Charizard's gone up in the last 24 hours, in the last 30 days. Doesn't look like those are 100% working yet. And then there's some undervalued and then the card database down here. It's got a nice footer and got some uh, links up here at the top. Now, obviously not everything is working the way that is supposed to 100%, but this is just version zero. So it's asking me, does everything look okay? I'll say, yeah, I think everything looks okay, but the key to every good data product that you build as a data analytics insight business is the data. And honestly, I'm not 100% sure where I should get the data for this product. So I can go ahead and just ask Replit. I can say, hey, let's use some real data. Where can I get the data? And Replit will actually suggest a bunch of different APIs that I could potentially use to datify this product, to actually have real data. It will also show me how to implement this data and suggest a plan. And while I'm sure all four of these data sources will work, when I tried to build this originally before I started recording, it actually suggested the Pokey price tracker right here. And I've already signed up for an account there. So I'm just going to tell Replit, let's use this. I'll say, I've already signed up for, will this work? And now Replit is searching the web and checking if this solution is going to work. And sure enough, Replit did its homework and found out that this will indeed work. But to integrate it, I need to go ahead and give it an API key value. This is one of the really good parts about Replit. When you're vibe coding, inputting your API tokens can be a little bit sketchy and you can get into some serious big issues. But entering API keys inside of Replit is secure and your information and your APIs are going to be okay. So I go over to the Pokey Price Tracker, generate a new key, copy it, and just paste that in right here. Now Replit's even asking if I wanna save the API key to my account so we can use it in multiple places. I'll just say not now for now. Okay, and Replit is now integrating the API and adding in that data. So it'll hopefully update this page here in a little bit. Replit just finished and said that it integrated the Pokemon price tracker API. And it does look like it did some cool things because now I'm seeing images, I'm seeing view on eBay, I'm seeing different prices, I'm seeing different Pokemon card names. So obviously it's doing something good here. Now, is it doing everything we want? Not quite, but we're going to get there and we just need to ask Replit step by step on actually getting there. So one of the really cool things about Replit is it actually has these things called databases. And these databases are where your data is going to be stored. And you can actually see that mine isn't there yet. And so what I'm telling you now, what I'm able to deduce by that is a lot of this data is actually kind of hard coded into the code. And instead we should build up this backend database that will store the information and then we'll use the front end to display the information in an aesthetic way. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna write a message down here to Replit that's going to create this database, get the Pokemon cards, get their prices, and then update the product one more time. All right, my message to Replit is basically, I don't see any databases, so let's create a database to permanently store this information. However, I don't wanna run out of API credits, so I'm telling it instead of focusing on all Pokemon cards, let's only focus on base set, jungle, fossil, and all of the Neos. Those are kind of like the older Pokemon cards, vintage that I really enjoy. So I'm saying go find all the Pokemon cards of those set, and then find the prices and create tables for all of that. Then reload the app. We'll press send, Replit will go to work. We'll pause here and we'll see how it does. 
You can see that it's integrating a uh, Postgres SQL database right here. We create a database for you, manage it here, and it is setting that up. I can click, got it, go to the database, and this is my developer database right here. And you can see it created the deals, the market stats, and the Pokemon cards. Okay, I had to step away and be a dad of 202 for a quick minute, but now I'm back a day later. And after a decent amount of back and forth between me and the Replit agent, you can see that I have a really good minimal viable product over here on the right hand side. And just as a side note, vibe coding, it's absolutely incredible, but it still takes time. It is a lot of work to make sure that everything is 100% perfect, but it's a lot faster than doing it yourself, like literally probably 10 times easier. So let's go ahead and test this out. So as a reminder, I wanted to have like a card database with all these different cards. And if we click on one of them, it should show us the actual price of the card. We should be able to see the card image right there. We should be able to have affiliate links to buy that card on eBay. Yep, looking real clean right here. And I'm liking this graph right here that shows us that, you know, prices are going up. So that part right there is check. We are good to go there. Next, we wanted to create the market trends, which shows you the top gainers and the top losers in the last 30 days. And we can go ahead and click on one of these right here, for instance, hop it and see that, yep, hop it has really climbed up the last, you know, few days, few months. Then we can check here. Yep, once again, really big spike in price. So this is giving us like a good indicator of what might be happening in the market. Now, just looking at these, these changed recently and I can tell these are kind of nicer cards. So I need to go back in with Replit and try to figure out why these cards are being shown here because they don't actually belong here. Just, I just know these cards. And for example, you can see that these maybe lost a decent amount in the last little bit, but we have some price mismatch issues. So I'll need to go back and talk to Replit on fixing that. Next, we have the deal finder, which will help you find undervalued cards. So for example, it looks at this muck and it says, hey, I think this is a pretty good deal. Um, and you can kind of go through and go to eBay and see if we can find any of those good deals on eBay. So uh, overall, I'm pretty proud of this tool uh, for just a couple hours of vibe coding. We have like a, an MVP, a minimal viable product, and I'm pretty proud of it. Is it perfect? No. But did I have to code it? Also no, which makes me really happy. So the next step is to make this open to the public. So people like you guys watching or listening to this can use it and can start using the affiliate links that are hopefully going to make me some passive moolah. So to do that, it's so easy in Replit, you guys. All you need to do is go up here to the top right hand corner and click deploy. And what deploy is going to do is it's going to make it deployed to all the web. So we're gonna have like a URL that you guys can go to to test this tool out. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and lower a lot of these machine power, unless a lot of you guys are using it, it's probably gonna be okay. So hey, if you want my website to crash, go use my tool. Uh, but I love that Replit lets us choose this type of information because that way we can control price versus power. And for me, I wanna save on price until you guys tell me, hey, this isn't powerful enough. So really cool settings that Replit has brought here. And I just click approve and configure build settings. Then I can go ahead and give the name. I really want to name this this, actually, I want to name it Pokey Radar. Pokey Radar, perfect, right here. And then it has all of the secrets and a bunch of other like things that you could configure in terms of deployment. But for most of us, we can just hit deploy. Okay, now it is loading our app to the internet and make it accessible for literally anyone. This takes usually about maybe two to three minutes. And while it's doing that, I want to highlight another really cool part of Replit that they actually just rolled out. Uh, and that is that you can actually buy a domain. So I'm actually going to try to buy the domain within Replit and see how it goes. This will just take a couple more minutes to finish uploading to the internet and I'll fast forward to that. Okay, perfect. So you can see that it already deployed to production. I can click this button right here and now my app is open to the web. Literally anyone can go check it out. Ah, and looks like we uh, hit some data issues. Well, no problem. Let's go to our agent and say, hey, it looks like the data is missing in the deployed version. Do we need a production? database and voila we have a working website that all of you guys can go to now i do want to change the domain of this so i'm going to go to buy a new domain right here we're going to click on buy a new domain and we're going to look at pokey radar what options do we have that are available oh no i don't see any url i really like here Okay, so it looks like Pokey Radar is actually purchased. If you go to Pokey 
Radar.com. I could buy it for $3,000, but I'm not going to do that. So instead, we're going to call it Pokey Sight and see if that is available. Okay, we'll take Pokesite.io. We could do that. All right, after some searching, I decided to settle on PokemonCardAnalytics.com. I know it's kind of basic, but I'm hoping it might be good for SEO purposes. And this is honestly super nice because setting up a URL and doing all the DNS settings is a pain in the butt. So if you can just do that right here inside of Replit, Chef's Kiss makes everything so much easier. Okay, we'll go ahead and purchase this right here. And now this is processing. So by the time this video is up, I'm hoping that you'll be able to go to PokemonCardAnalytics.com and check out this this app. Now, obviously we could keep adding a lot to this app. Like I think we could spend all the rest of the year working on this app. There's features that we could definitely polish. I know some of the things, some of the data is coming up wrong. We could add a bunch of new features. I have a bunch of ideas that we could do, but hopefully this gives you an idea of what is possible with vibe coding inside of Replit. So let me know down below in the comments, what do you guys think? Should I continue building PokemonCardAnalytics.com? Would you use it? What type of features would you want inside of this tool? Or if you want me to build a completely different tool, what tool would you like to see me build next? And more importantly, what about you? What type of app are you going to build? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, you can use my link in the description to get $10 worth of extra credits when you sign up. And that is it from me, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.